In this video, let us discuss the few important and basic points to know about dental light curing unit. So we have ultraviolet based light curing unit, visible light based unit, laser based and LED, we also have LED light curing unit. So ultraviolet uh, curing unit was introduced in the dental market by LD Call Company. Ultraviolet curing light requires around 20 to 60 seconds to cure 1 mm increment of composite. So some of the disadvantages of ultraviolet curing is the cataract formation in eyes and chances of significantly altering the oral microbial flora. So one of the important points to note here is we are using a wavelength of around 365 nanometer. So only those photo initiators that are sensitive to this wavelength can be activated. Now let us discuss about the visible light. So we have quartz tungsten halogen. So we have a quartz encasing a bulb. Here we have tungsten filament and this bulb is filled with halogen gas. So we will heat the filament as a result electromagnetic radiation will be produced. And heat is also formed because of the resistance that has been developed in the filament. So we automatically require a, require a cooling fan in order to reduce the heat. So for curing a 2 mm thickness of increment, we require uh, the quartz tungsten halogen light to be exposure for 40 to 60 seconds. Then we also have turbo tip mode in this light curing unit. So this, when we are using this turbo tip, we can have greater irradiance. So a positive aspect of this quartz tungsten halogen is it is a broad banded spectral emission so that most of the uh, light curing, uh, most of your uh, photo initiators can be activated. Then we have plasma arc curing. Here we have a sapphire window through which the radiation comes out and we have a two tungsten filament. We have two tungsten filament and we have xenon gas filled here. Then we will maintain and uh, we will create a high voltage difference between these electrodes and we will uh, make them spark. As a result, tremendous of electromagnetic radiation will be released. And also we will require more filtering. So this light, this energy will be transmitted to the tooth with the help of a fiber optic light guide, fiber optic guide. Okay. Initially, these uh, curing light were able to produce exposure only for 3 seconds because of uh, because of less advancement they were only able to maintain uh, the exposure for 3 seconds and above which they were not able so then the in later generation uh, increased duration of emission was uh, possible with the advancing technology this is plasma arc curing so now let us uh, discuss about argon laser so laser, argon laser is used for vital tooth bleaching. They were introduced in US market and they are, can also be used for curing composite but they will activate only camphorokinone and other photo initiators like PPD or uh, ivocerin uh, cannot be activated. Now let us discuss about LED light curing unit. So most commonly nowadays we are using LED light curing unit. So we have three generation of LED light curing unit. Problem with first generation LED light curing was the very low output power and the battery technology required careful recharging memory. So if you are not going to uh, recharge it in a definite pattern then uh, you, the battery will, not, will no, no more be useful. So in second generation the, the, we, we improved their irradiance. And the battery also was improved such that it did not require any memory effect. Then in third generation LED light curing unit. Example is blue face. Here they uh, incorporated two blue and violet light. So important disadvantages of the first generation and second generation were they were not able to activate your TPO and ivocerin. So nowadays, uh, so what is TPO and ivocerin? So when you are going to use bleach shade, uh, they mostly consist of uh, TPO photo initiators. So we will need to use a energy source that has a wavelength of 
wavelength that can activate this TPO and iocerin is used in bulk fill composite. So in order to cure this, in order to activate this TPO and iocerin in third generation LED light curing unit, they incorporated two blue and a violet light and they also improved the battery technology that can give you a long lifespan. So I hope you were able to follow this uh, presentation. So these are the most important basic points that we should know. So we should know the composite that we are going to use. We should know about what photo initiators are being used there so that we can choose the appropriate light curing unit. Okay, so if you are going to go for any bulk fill composite, make sure that your, uh, for your light curing unit can cure the, um, the photo initiators like iocerin present in them. Thank you.